Sick of low FPS? Wanna double it? Here's what to do. Follow to the end, and I'll show you how. This area is one of the most demanding spots in the game, a great benchmark. If performance improves here, it'll run better everywhere else. Rendering this small town gives only 25 frames per second. All settings are at the lowest possible, except anti-aliasing. There's not much else to tweak in-game, so let's move on. Find your game shortcut. Right-click, open file location. DNA game. EM. Saved. Config. Windows no editor. Right click engine.ini, then edit. Scroll down to the bottom below paths. Hit enter for a new line and paste the config from the description. If your file already has a Windows application.accessibility block, paste it above that. Keep them separate. Here I'm using the potato config. Go to file, save. If it won't save, drag it to your desktop, edit and save it there, then move it back. That's it. Config installed. But if you want even more performance, let's go over more tweaks. For most of you, the preset config will be enough. If visuals or performance don't suit you, you can edit or remove lines. Most important for FPS, R secondary screen percentage. Game viewport. Lowering this improves FPS, but too low makes the image blurry. Other commands in low and potato configs. R.hairoutline.enable. Removes outlines. Minor FPS gain. Foliage. Max triangles. To render. Hides grass and trees for a noticeable boost. R shadow quality. Setting to zero removes all shadows, giving a big improvement on weak PCS. If you dislike how any of these look, just delete the line to restore them. Now, two more things you can try. In the same folder, open game user settings.ini. Find full screen mode. It's set to 1 by default, borderless. Change it to 0 for exclusive full screen. Note the game may minimize on launch, just reopen it from the taskbar. You can also try running in DX11 mode. In the launcher, Check Launch with DirectX 11. However, DX 11 has a lighting bug that looks off. If that bothers you, stay on DX 12. Good news. If you're using the potato config, no shadows. The bug won't matter. And DX 11 can give more stability or FPS. If your game starts feeling laggier, it might have reset anti-aliasing to Filmic SMAA after loading screens you'll need to switch it back manually. Not sure if the devs will fix these issues, so keep that in mind. Honestly, this game runs worse than Wuthering Waves despite both using Unreal Engine 4. Let me know in the comments what you think. Are you still enjoying it? That's all for now. Thanks for watching. And if this helped, like the video and subscribe for more.